Hello, in this video I'll be going through my 2023 day 3 Adventive Code solution. So, the problem is we need to add up all parts numbers. And part numbers are numbers that are adjacent to any symbol, except a period or full stop. So, for example, here we'd have a part number because it's adjacent to a star, it's diagonal. Here we wouldn't, uh, this isn't a part number because it's just surrounded by full stops. So we need to find the sum of all part numbers in the engine schematic. So I'm going to take this test input first and paste it in. And I'm going to put that in here. Now I'm just reading out the input here um, with file system and then I've got two functions, part one and part two. So in part one, we're just going to have a total counter starting at zero. Then we're going to go through each line. So I think we're just going to say uh, let data equal uh, input.split each new line, we'll do that first, and then for let line index is zero, line index is less than data dot length, so the number of lines, line index plus plus, then we're going to say const numbers equals, uh, we're just going to say Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to say let numbers first equal a blank array. And then we're going to use regex to go through them. Um, but it is possible that we have more than one um, of the same number on each line. So we need to account for that. So we can say let match first, uh, just so we can use that variable. And then let pattern equal... And then we're going to do slash slash D, which selects, um, oh, I missed that slash here, slash D plus, which selects one or more digit. And that's the full regex. Now we can do while match um, is equal to pattern dot execute data line index so while we can still extract numbers basically uh, while that is not equal to null we're just going to say numbers dot push uh, we can get the start the end and the value so we're just going to say match dot index uh, for the start and then end is going to be um, pattern dot last index. And then the actual number is uh, just going to be match zero. Okay, cool. So now what we can say is we know the number start, we know the number end. Now we can go through. Uh, for let y equal line index minus 1, then y is less than or equal to line index plus 1. So we're going uh, like above and below on the y index and in between as well, uh, obviously, from our selected number or line in this instance. Uh, we're just doing it by lines, but... Then we can say y plus plus. Then for let x equal uh, the number start. So ah, we forgot something. <laughs> we just need to go through for let number of numbers. That's all. Because we need to actually target the number that we're looking at. 
So for let x equal number dot start, then we can say x uh, number dot start minus one x is less than or equal to number n x plus plus and then when we go through those we're going to say if y is greater than or equal to zero and data dot length uh, y is less than data dot length and additionally we're going to say x is greater than or equal to zero and data uh, line index dot length is greater than x okay so now we've done that we can say um, if is not a number pars int data y x so we're selecting the um, actual like data in our grid then we can say and data y x is not equal to a uh, full stop then we can say part of sum is true and we just need to define in our uh, numbers here uh, the part of sum so we can just say let part of sum equal uh, false initially then we can say if part of sum total plus equal pars int number finally we need to return the total so if we try this we get not a number so let's have a look at why that is uh, console.log number ah yeah that's just because I need to put number dot number basically so we get 4361 if we look back here this should be 4361 so now if we get our full puzzle input and we paste it in and we run this we get 540131 and my 540131 so that's correct for part one now part two is slightly different we have something called a gear ratio um, and basically it's exactly two part numbers multiplied together but we only have this when two um, numbers are adjacent to a star. So not three, not one, but it has to be exactly two. So for example, here we have this, four, six, seven, and three, five. And that means the gear would be four, six, seven times three, five, 35. Um, then we have to sum all the gear ratios, basically. So we can come back here and in our part two we we can just copy um part one and change a few things so for a start we won't need this part of sum or anything to do with that um and here we're going to say instead data y x is equal to star and then we're going to have something um, like a map I think so if we just put up here let map equal an array then we can say map dot push every star we're going to push the x coordinate the y coordinate 
and the number uh, that was next to the star, basically. Yeah. And then down here, what we can say is for let y equals zero. So basically going through the coordinates again. Y is less than data dot length. Y plus plus for let x equals zero. X is less than data y dot length. X plus plus. Then we can say let's um, basically, we're filtering the map um, to only get items that have selected the coordinates. So, let's selected, I guess, selected equal map dot filter l l dot x equals x and L dot Y equals Y. And then we can say if selected dot length is two, then we're gonna let nums equal A dot map or selected dot map, sorry. The element to L dot number. And then finally we can just say total plus equals nums zero plus nums one. And then we're returning the total again. So if we run this we get three three six six one five. If we look back here, uh that was not the answer. So if I look at what I've done, uh where is it? If I show you this again, um, the issue here is, give me a second to find it, okay, so I think part of the issue is this x should be plus one as well, because we want to go before and after the end um, by one. So if we run this, we still get a similar answer, um, which isn't correct. And I'm just going to also change this to n minus 1. Ah, okay, so the issue is here, this was plus, it should be multiply. That's the only issue, basically. Um, and now if we run it, we get 8687902. If we look back here, that is the same as this answer. So that was my advent of code 2023 day free solutions.